What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Thunderbody29 here, and yep, I'm back today with another video. And honestly, a video that I did not plan or expect to make. But I figured, ever since I started like scrolling through my channel again, seeing like all the work I've done just to see like what I've done or not done, I have come across this old video I had made back in 2021. So I figured, since so much has changed over that time, in both Overwatch and Fortnite, because consider the fact we were in Chapter 2, and we were in Overwatch 1 all back then. So I figured, why not just do like a remaster of that same exact video, but kind of like an updated video, kind of like give you all an update of like, which game I would prefer today. I did put out a poll like shortly before recording this video to ask like, which game do you think I would prefer? And a lot of you were guessing Fortnite, and a few of you guessed Overwatch. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss a few basic details about both these games and at the end, give my full honest opinion of which game do I think is better and which game would I prefer to play today. But before I start, I just wanna say, I hope you enjoyed the videos that you see here on the channel. And if you do enjoy this video, please smash the like button down below, hit that subscribe button, share us with your friends and hit that little bell and yes. Also, you can join the channel membership today for less than 10 cents a day. It really helps out the channel. It helps keep the content going. Join today. Link will be in the description below. But anyways, now let's finally start this video. So let's start with Fortnite. We are now back on familiar territory once more. And I'll tell you what, ever since I had made that video back in 2021, so much has changed. I mean, consider the fact it was Chapter 2 Season 6 when I made that video. And now we're currently in Chapter 4, which means... We have been through two chapters within the past year and a half. And there has been so many changes. And most of those changes happen during chapter 3 and chapter 4. Like for example, now you can choose whether if you want to play with building or no building. And you also have Creative 2.0 currently in the making and it's going to come out sometime this year. So that's also going to be another big change. And within the time period of one year, we were on two maps. That was also a pretty big change because that was something none of us expected at all. But other than those, most of the game and most of my thoughts are still about the same. They still have a skill-based matchmaking system, they spam the hell out of crossover still, and they have mostly a trash item shop, but with fair and reasonable prices most of the time, which I will give them that by the way. Fortnite always had great live events and good seasonal events, up until most of 2022, when most of them were either copy and pasted from the events they had done in the past, or completely unchanged, or just plain out fucking boring, like the Chapter 3 Finale event. And from time and time again, Fortnite would always have bad loot pulls and good loot pulls. But all the way up until Chapter 4, where they're actually improving the loot pull by bringing back the OG items for the first time since Chapter 2 which that was also a really good changeup and very smart move by Epic. So here's everything that we've discussed so far. There's been a ton of changes, no building introduced, and of course you can't deny the fact, Fortnite still has a toxic player base. And you also have Creative 2.0 coming out soon. Tons of crossovers, still. Mostly good events until 2022, as I had mentioned. Bad item shops, but with fair and reasonable prices most of the time. And of course, they still have a battle pass system. So, you can definitely tell half of Fortnite has changed since the video from 2021. But the question is, has Overwatch changed as much as Fortnite? Has Overwatch improved? We're just about to find out right now. So now we are going to discuss Overwatch. Back on familiar territory once more again but we can't deny the fact that overwatch also had some changes like the fact that overwatch 1 is now overwatch 2 but the only difference is two years before overwatch 2 there were barely any at all like the last major update overwatch 1 had before overwatch 2 came out was in 2020 when they changed up lucio ball even though i put overwatch over fortnite back in 2021 ever since and it just slowly and slowly declined. Even to the point where I openly criticized the Halloween event that they had did back in 2021. Because the entire event was exactly the same. Like, who the fuck wants to play Junkenstein's Revenge for the sixth year in a row? Like, what's fun and exciting about that? 
But it was not just the Halloween event that was the same, it was most of Overwatch because there were barely any changes for two years up until Overwatch 2 came out. And when Overwatch 2 came out, there were a little bit of changes like loot box system being replaced with the battle pass system and you have it now being 5v5 instead of 6v6 like it used to be. But there's still one little problem and that is most of the game is still exactly the same. Like, nothing really changed that much, even though we got a couple new heroes, a couple new game modes, and a couple new maps. But that's like an average, typical Overwatch update multiplied by 5. But they are going to release a player versus environment game mode, which arguably, they should have released it at the time Overwatch 2 came out. Because that is one big change, one big thing that is completely different from the first game. But of course, as of right now, three months later... It is still unknown when it's ever going to come out. I would bet that Fortnite Chapter 5 is going to come out before that ever happens. But there was a few new things that they added into Overwatch 2, which was basically copy and pasted from Fortnite, and that was they added their own battle pass system. In fact, even locked the new heroes behind them and added in a trash item shop with barely any fair reasonable prices at all. Like what I mentioned in this video. Like how this one witch skin originally would cost 37 US dollars. I mean, how in the fuck is one skin worth 37 dollars? I just don't get it. But this definitely shows you how greedy Blizzard has gotten. And not to forget, they also still have a skill based matchmaking system with a broken matchmaking system. Anyways, I'm done talking about this game and let's go to the final conclusion. So here's everything we've discussed with Overwatch, and that is, there were some changes, but not much. They still have a toxic player base, they have a player versus environment game mode coming out at an unknown date, with seasonal events that are mostly still the same, they have bad item shops as well, but the only difference is, these prices are unfair and unreasonable whatsoever. They also have a battle pass system now, and here's the controversial one, the same repetitive bullshit that the first game had. And I also forgot to include a broken matchmaking system. But they both do have a couple things in common. Like they both have a skill-based matchmaking system, battle passes, item shops, and toxic player bases. And I also forgot to include seasonal events. But the real big question is, which one of these two games do I prefer? Which one of these games do I think is better, or which one would I rather play today? And now I'm about to answer that question. Give me a drum roll. This time, I have to give it to Fortnite, because at least they're updating their game a lot. They've been adding a lot of changes into their game. And ever since that video back in 2021, like since we've been in Chapter 3, they have been slowly and slowly improving, or at least trying to improve. But Overwatch, most of it has not really changed at all. I mean, I still think Overwatch is a good game, but the problem with it is it's just so damn repetitive because it's just the same crap every single time, and it's been that way for the past two to three years now. But that doesn't necessarily mean Fortnite is 100% perfect either. They still have their flaws too. I mean, not every single one of their changes were the most perfect in the world, but some of them that they've added ever since that last video have actually been pretty good and pretty big for the game, and it completely turned the game around. But Fortnite has at least been consistently updating their game and at least changing up their game a bit. Meanwhile, Overwatch really has not changed that much, at least since the last video I made back in 2021 when I was talking about both these games. That's why I barely put Fortnite over Overwatch, because of that fact alone. It's honestly crazy how much the times have changed. But what do you guys think? Which game would you rather play? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed or agree with this video, please smash the like button down below, hit that subscribe button, share us with your friends, and click the bell for notifications so you'll never miss another video. Follow me on social media. I love all you to death and I appreciate all the support you've been giving me as we are still slowly approaching 5,470 subscribers. I love you all to death and thank you all so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. And this is ThunderBuddy29.
Sign off.